Just a quick hello to everyone. Thanks for joining. Uh, we have 10 minutes before the start of the webinar. So uh, grab a cup of coffee, make yourself comfortable, and I'll be returning uh, to start the webinar uh, approximately 11 a.m. Eastern time. Thank you. Hello and welcome to everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar from Unitronics titled Servo Made Simple, EtherCAT Motion Made Easy. I see that there's a few people still logging in. I will wait another minute or so uh, before kicking things off. Hello once again, 
I just wanted to do a quick sound check. If you can hear me, uh, please um, post something in the question or chat window in your GoToWebinar page. Let me know that I, you can hear me. Excellent, excellent, thank you. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for making time in your day to join us for a few minutes to talk about Servo Made Simple and how new enhancements to our Unitronic software has made motion easier using EtherCAT. Simply put, I, I want to introduce myself, review Unitronics, talk about EtherCAT briefly, and then get into the benefits of Unilogic and Unistream, show some of the function blocks uh, for EtherCAT motion. And of course, throughout the webinar, you can ask questions by typing them into the question box. I will answer questions uh, towards the end of the webinar, time permitting. Thank you again for joining us. My name is Walter Strittick. I am the Motion Control Business Development Manager for Unitronics covering North America. On your screen, you should see my phone number and my email address and the Unitronics website address. After today's webinar, I will be emailing a copy of this PowerPoint presentation to everyone so you have all the links and all the content at your fingertips. So before we dive in, I wanted to get a little feel of your experience with Unitronics, and I'm going to launch a quick poll here. And if you could just rate your experience uh, with Unitronics, that would be wonderful. We'll give a few more seconds. Okay, well, thank you very much for your responses. I'm going to close the survey now. Uh, on average, um, about one third of you are consider yourself to be very experienced. Uh, a little over one third of you consider yourself to be somewhat experienced. And then another third, the remaining third, with minimal experience. To help those with minimal experience and, and perhaps those with some experience, let me just give you a brief overview of Unitronics. Unitronics was founded in 1989. We are a publicly traded company, headquartered in Israel, traded on the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange. We have offices throughout Europe and our North American headquarters in Quincy, Massachusetts. We introduced our first PLC HMI back in 1989, and as you can see on the screen, throughout the 30 plus years that we've been in business, uh, we have developed new PLC hardware, new PLC software. In 2019, we introduced a line of variable frequency drives for AC motors. And then in 2020, we introduced a line of servo products, servo motors, and the uh, corresponding drives and cables 
to work with our Unistream PLC product. So we have three decades plus of experience in PLCs and HMIs, uh, going on four or five years experience in the motion control world. Uh, we are a good source of hardware and software for you, for your automation needs. This webinar is, is going to focus on our EtherCAT enhancements in the Unilogic software. I would like to show you one poll here that is now in progress, and I'd like you to rate your experience with EtherCAT. How you have used EtherCAT in your automation career. All right, very good. So it's uh, it's a little uh, weighted. Um, about 50% of you have used EtherCAT some of the time, and roughly 40% have not used EtherCAT uh, much at, or not at all, and 10% uh, of the attendees uh, use EtherCAT often. So thank you very much uh, for your response. Uh, I would like to discuss briefly the advantages of, of using EtherCAT and why Unitronics enjoys EtherCAT and its technologies. Um, as you can see, EtherCAT is basically short for the Ethernet for Control Automation Technology. It's run by an independent group called the EtherCAT Technology Group. And it is a, a worldwide uh, communication protocol for sharing information, sharing data, and commands uh, through uh, automation or in the automation world. Uh, some of the advantages of EtherCAT include that it is deterministic. It knows what device it's trying to speak to and that device will listen. EtherCAT is very fast. We're talking uh, tens or hundreds of microseconds. and EtherCAT is easy to implement. It is open source type communication uh, that can be integrated into many different pieces of hardware. And it's been around for, for a, a good amount of time. Uh, EtherCAT is what I would consider a proven communication network. For our servo products, Unitronics offers a can open communication protocol or the EtherCAT communication protocol. And because it is fast and deterministic and easy to implement, I personally favor the EtherCAT communication protocol with the Unitronics servo hardware. On your screen, you should see a list of a few items that I consider to be the benefits of Unitronics Unistream hardware, our Unilogic software, and our motion control products. Number one benefit is that it is developed and supported by Unitronics. With over 30 years of experience and being a leader in the HMI PLC automation world, the Unitronics team is well talented to support and develop technology and to help you with your automation applications. Our software and hardware platforms, the Unistream hardware and Unilogic software, 
is an established platform. It is updated regularly and it performs outstandingly. It is also simple to integrate between a PLC, an HMI, and our motion hardware. I will be getting into some examples of this later on in the webinar, but please rest assured that of all the automation software and motion control devices in the industry, the Unitronics package is very simple to integrate. We provide our software at no cost to the user. You can go right now to the Unitronics website and download our software, fully functioning and ready for development into your application. We have world-class and awarded application support. In North America, we have a team of near, ooh, let's see, six, seven application engineers located in North America to help with your application, your software, your hardware questions and development so that you can provide an automation answer to your customer that is well-priced, supported globally, and is very efficient and cutting edge. Lastly, we offer a wide range of motors, servo motors, servo drives, and cables. And these products are in stock and ready to ship. So here you have a list of benefits of Unistream and Unilogic and our motion control. And if I had to pick one item from this list, I would say, our most useful, our most valuable benefit is the simple integration between the hardware and the software. The integration between the PLC, the HMI, and the motion hardware. It's like all pieces of the puzzle coming in one box from one provider and all the pieces fitting together perfectly. So continuing, the Unilogic servo motion products using EtherCAT, it's very easy to select and integrate the hardware. We have a wide variety of predefined function blocks in our software. And in the EtherCAT version of our hardware, our function blocks now include gearing camming and coordinated axes. Next, we're going to take a look at what is needed. EtherCAT based servo motion system. So as you probably are aware, Unitronics offers a wide variety of PLCs and accessories. If you wish to develop an application using EtherCAT servo motion, you're going to focus on our Unistream PLC product. That PLC product would start with the series USC, and we offer two different uh, flavors, let's say, a B5 and a B10, depending upon the computational needs required. And you can see a picture of the PLC to the right side of your screen. Along with the PLC, you're going to need an HMI, or will you? If you would like an HMI panel, you can use our USL series light panel. 
another benefit of using the USC hardware with our Unilogic software is that you have remote access built in and you can actually control your PLC through either uh, some type of cell phone, uh, smartphone, uh, your computer, desktop, or even uh, something like a tablet, a, an iPad. So access uh, is not necessarily require an HMI, but you can use existing hardware to connect to the PLC through a router, through the internet to control the PLC and see the status and reports and data. You will need to include our communication module for the EtherCAT product, the UAC01EC2. This EtherCAT module simply connects to the PLC and then will allow you to incorporate EtherCAT servo drives, motors, and cables. Uh, the PLC HMI cable, if you have an HMI, you can use a standard Ethernet cable, or as I mentioned, you can have remote access to your tablet or phone or computer. The PLC operates on a 24 volt power supply. Uh, you can provide your own. We also provide as an accessory, the UAP series power supply with different wattages uh, but that would be the UAP-24 series, 24 volt DC power supply. And then for your servo motor, you would want to look at the UMM series of servo motors, pick out the motor that will fit your torque requirements and your speed requirements, it will help you determine what servo drive is needed. And the servo drives are the UMD series that end in the nomenclature dash E3, Echo 3 or EtherCAT 3. And of course, you will need cables to connect the motors and the drives. If you were to pick your PLC, the HMI mode, your power supply, and then your servo motor drive and cable, you have a fully functioning EtherCAT based servo motion system. Next, you can see our servo motors graphically representing the continuous torque ratings in inch pounds. So we offer servo motors from a 1.4 inch pound all the way up to over 200 inch pounds. Uh, if you would like, you can, con uh, you see on the screen a chart converting that into Newton meters, a 0.15 Newton meter all the way up to almost 24 Newton meters of continuous torque in our servo motors. Peak torque is approximately three times the continuous torque and can be held for three to five seconds. So it's a wide range of continuous torque servo motors. And of course, if your application requires even more torque, then we suggest the use of a gearbox that would convert the speed of the motor even into greater torque ratings. Our servo drives come in a variety of, uh, I beg your pardon, I'm sorry, I got distracted. Our servo drives come in, in a wide variety of products, uh, starting with our smallest servo drive rated at uh, 0.06 horsepower, and we go up to the largest servo drive rated at 6.7 horsepower. The drives operate on 220 volts AC single phase 
we have three drives that operate on 220 volts AC three phase. Three of our drives can operate on one or three phase 220 volts AC. And then our largest drives operate on 400 volts three phase. You can see them listed here. Our documentation very easily provides a chart that where you can choose your motor based on your torque needs, and then we'll help you easily determine which drive is required to run that motor, and then what electrical input is required. When using our EtherCAT motion configuration, our Unistream PLC can control up to four synchronized axes of motion. And you can add an additional four discrete axes of motion, giving you a total of eight axes per PLC. In addition, to the servo motion, you have the options of including remote I.O., local I.O., and even running and operating and controlling our VFD products for your AC motors. Digging in a little bit into the EtherCAT functions that we've recently introduced for coordinated axes, we have gearing, camming, and coordinated motion function blocks. Here you see the gear in and gear out function blocks. I am not going to get into the technical bits and bytes of how these function blocks operate. But after today's webinar, I will send you via email a link to a webinar from earlier this month that explains the technical details of our coordinated motion function blocks. Here I'm just representing a little flavor of the ease of the function blocks and we'll go into the software and look at them a little uh, later on in the webinar. Next up is our camming function blocks. You can develop two axes and then cam them using cam tables. You can have multiple camming recipes uh, to adequately provide camming functions for up to four axes in the EtherCAT software. Here's an example of two cam recipes. So you have your master position, your slave position, and then any correction that's needed. And you can have multiple steps within that CAM recipe. If you wish to combine axes or provide a virtual axis, you would use the MC combine function block. And when defined properly, uh, we'll provide coordinated axes in motion for you. So at this point, I, I reviewed the function blocks in the Unilogic. Um, I am also going to switch screens and show you the software, show you the help pages. I will um, send you the link to our recent software webinar where these function blocks, blocks were described in more detail. We will also be posting to our website 
an EtherCAT servo motion software example. In this PowerPoint, you'll find the Unitronics website link, the Unilogic web page, and the support request link on our website. Also, as you are developing your software with Unitronics, you can always email support at unitronics.com with your questions. And typically, answers are provided same business day. Let me switch screens. And if someone could just confirm that you can now see the Unitronics web page, that would be helpful. Thank you, Jeff. So unitronicsplc.com is the address of the web page. And here you will find our products drop down menu for PLCs, PLC HMIs, motion control, amongst other products. You will see our software. And for the Unistream PLC, you would use the Unilogic software. If I go to software and click on Unilogic, It brings you to the page where you can download the latest version of our software. And again, this is at no cost to you. It is free of charge. It is a, a pretty quick download and uh, is uh, worth bookmarking, uh, if not uh, doing it now. Under the technical support drop-down menu, You'll find such topics as our technical library, our help center, PLC tools and applications. There's videos and tutorials listed on this section of the website, along with any training and seminar information and a quick contact us form. Now let's switch to the software if I can. And let's see. There we go. Just give me one moment to open up the Unilogic Studio software. Again, we're up to uh, version 1.33, revision 2.3.6. So if you've downloaded it over the last couple of weeks, uh, please make sure that you have the latest version. I have a software example that I'll, I am opening. And as many of you probably know, Unitronics uses a ladder logic type structure in our software. I wanted just to show you a couple examples of gearing. So you have the gear in function block and the uh, gear out function block here. You define your axes. If you roll over the letter of the function block, you will then see a description pop up. So A is your master axes and B is your slave axes. E would be your gear ratio numerator. F is your gear ratio denominator among some other functions here in the function block. Camming is very similar. You can select from multiple CAM tables, your CAM table index, 
your slave axes, your master axes, and so on. If you go to the right of the screen and scroll down, you will find the motion control function blocks listed under motion control. It's a wide variety of function blocks, and you can see the gearing, the gear out, the combine axes, the cam table select, the cam in and cam out function blocks are all there when configured for the EtherCAT hardware. If you have a question, you can very easily hit the F1, function one key, and that will bring up our help menu. If you go into search, and I have in here combine axes, list the topics, click, and here you see a pretty extensive help chapter on the EtherCAT coordinated axes function blocks. I'm going to close the help window, return to the Unilogic software, and as you can see, through our tree structure, you defined your hardware, you can define your ladder software, your HMI screens and structs. We do offer training. We have YouTube videos to dive deeper into our software. And as I mentioned, I will be sending a link with a previous webinar uh, that went into deeper uh, depth, uh, more, uh, excuse me, went into uh, a more thorough example and explanation of the EtherCAT coordinated motion. So at this point, we're getting towards the conclusion of the webinar. Uh, if you have questions, I would um, be happy to address them and please put them in the question or chat window. And bear with me as I open this up and scroll through some of the questions. So uh, one question from Keith. Can the PLC do the function blocks with a non-unitronics EtherCAT servo? Uh, based on the EtherCAT protocol, I would say yes. Um, it, it might not be as easy to integrate, or I'll, I'll correct myself. It will not, it will not be easy to integrate or as easy to integrate a non-unitronics servo drive or servo motor. Uh, but if it is, is EtherCAT, then we should be able to talk, the PLC should be able to talk to many EtherCAT devices. And I'm just reading through a couple more questions. Um, Uh, J. 
Jake, you, you are asking a good question here. I do not have a, a answer for you. Um, I'm going to uh, refer you or actually send your question to our support team so that they can provide you a better educated response. Will our EtherCAT PLC allow connections to servo drives from other suppliers? Yes, the, according to the EtherCAT protocol, we should be able to connect and talk to non-unitronic servo drives and motors. So you can have a Unistream PLC with the EtherCAT module. Is it something that is easy to do? Um, it's not as easy as using the Unitronics servo drives and motors, but it is doable. I do not have any experience with this, so whatever um, whatever you um, choose to do, use Unitronics drives and motors or someone else's, um, our support may be limited. So just keep that in mind. There's a question here that uh, asks if EtherCAT is available in the modular Unistream. Uh, the Unistream PLC comes in three different flavors. We have the PLC, we have the modular PLC, and the built-in PLC. EtherCAT is only available right now in the Unistream PLC. That is the headless PLC or brick PLC uh, that we offer um, as part of our hardware PLC package. So it is not available in the modular Unistream at this time. There are um, additions uh, being developed uh, but I, I cannot speak to when that might be available or if it's on the roadmap in the near future. All right, there's a, a couple more questions here that I do not have a direct answer for. I will share them with our support team and respond to you um, via email. But I do thank you for any uh, for all your questions. I thank you for your time today. There is one last survey, if you don't mind, and it's a very simple one. But give me some feedback. Give us some feedback if you thought the webinar was a good use of your time. So you'll be receiving emails from us in the near future, a copy of this webinar, a copy of this PowerPoint, uh, a copy of the previous webinar that dove deeper into the EtherCAT function blocks. You also see my contact information on the screen. And to reach our support, you can submit a ticket through our website or just email support at unitronics.com include your questions and someone will respond to you, typically same business day. Thank you again for your time, that's all I have. Enjoy the rest of your day, thanks for attending.